Hey guys, put on your seatbelts. Are you kidding? <laughs> put on your seatbelts. No. no. Whatever. Attention East Holmes Fire and Squad personnel, respond to report of a two-vehicle injury crash, 4400 State Route 39 in front of Highland High School. Caller reports multiple injuries and a possible fatality. Attention East Holmes Fire and Squad personnel, respond to report of an injury crash, 4400 State Route 39 in front of Highland High School. Caller reports multiple injuries and a possible fatality. KOE 280 at 1302.
point. If you want to come with me, I can sort of walk you through it. Okay. On the scene of the two-vehicle auto accident here at Highland, an emergency rescue personnel are on the scene. Two cars are involved. Not much information available right now. We'll keep reporting live from WKL. I'm Michael Hammond. Okay. 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 Mike, as you can see, we've got a two-vehicle injury crash. I've already been advised by the trooper on scene that the occupant in the pickup truck is deceased. I have four injured in the white car. What are the next steps from here? Well, we've got to go through the scene after the squad has extricated all the patients. We'll have to identify who the driver is, determine who their family is, and make the notification. We'll also have to go through and do measurements, vehicle inventories, and find out what happened. What does it look like right now from just looking at it? I can tell you it was a failure to yield on the white car. They didn't stop at a stop sign. Okay, four occupants in that car and then one in the truck. Right, so let's go on around behind the scene, maybe we can get some more information. All right. As you can see right now, they're working on the patients in the white car, trying to figure out who's most injured. It looks as though we've got a, a neck and a head injury. Life flight's been called to the scene to assess and transport one of the most serious. Just taking reports right now, Lieutenant Norman, right? Right. Let's go talk to the officers. Trooper Allen, you have a second? Can you tell us what you know so far about the crash scene? Uh, the car was definitely at fault. Uh, certainly in the investigation, but there were People, too many people under the age. Of it, it, uh, there were four people under the age of 18 in the vehicle, and we seized a cell phone of a distracted driving vehicle. Understanding the driver of the white car was 16. Not allowed to have more than one non-family member in the vehicle with him. Trooper Allen sees the cell phone. We'll go through and get a court order from the prosecutor's office and see what we can find on the cell phone. Let's go see if we can find out who the driver is. Yeah. Trooper Allen, can you tell me who the uh, driver of the red pickup truck is? Uh, Bob and Tipple. Right next to Kim. As you can see, squad members are still working 
trying to get the remaining occupants out. From my understanding, we've got a leg injury, neck injury, and some serious injuries to the driver. Let me grab the chief and maybe he can tell you a little bit more. Can you talk with Mike and explain to him what your folks are doing? Chief, what's going on? We're to get the critical patients out and getting them moved. The most critical one is a trauma case, so that one is the one that's going to go in the helicopter. And the other one is, uh, we have another one with critical injuries, they're going to the hospital. Um, we have one person that uh, she doesn't seem to be hurt that bad. She doesn't want to go to the hospital because of her age. Her parents are going to have to be here to uh, verify that, or she, we do have to take her to the hospital. Now, Chief, you, uh, even though you're a trained professional, this can never be easy on you either. Well, it's never easy on us. It doesn't matter how many times you see it. Um, you know, living in a community this size, the thing is that we know just about everybody. So when we do come into a situation like that, it's, you know, it's usually somebody we know or a family member or somebody we know. So it's never easy. So that's going to go on from here. From here, we'll get everybody, make sure that the, the patients are all taken to where they need to be, then the last thing that will happen will be that we'll, we'll get the uh, fatality out of the vehicle. Okay, Chief, thanks. We're going to try to identify the driver at this point, so if you want to wait one second. Yeah. I've already been advised that a possible parent is on the way to the scene. Understanding, the mom is on scene of our one of the occupants of the vehicle. The driver's been identified. She's a West Holmes student, senior. Hopefully, the parent that's coming isn't the mom. As you can see, Mike, the mother has arrived on scene. Trooper Allen's going to have a talk with the who the driver was. Mrs. Cutler, I'm really sorry to have to tell you. It is your daughter. She did not survive her injuries from this crash. Did I see her? <laughs> no worse. I'm from today. From school. I'm from school. Is there anyone we can call for you? My husband, I guess. Okay. They're going to have to remove her from the vehicle right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want her to stay right here. As you can see, squad 
going to try to extricate our deceased.